What's up everyone, Danny Line and back with another video. Today we are checking out the Waves Content Creator Package and this is what my microphone sounds like once I have all the things dialed in and I have it sounded just the way I want it. And this is what it sounds like when you've got it all set up on the Shure SM7B. The other microphone is the Lewitt 440 Pure and this is the Shure SM7B right here. We're gonna do a review guide tutorial. We're gonna show you exactly how to set it up. And this is super easy to use. You'll have this thing set up in a few seconds after you figure out how it all works. So this is what it sounds like with the plugins all turned on. And this is the way the microphone sounds without the creator's package on, right? All the plugins are now turned off and it does not sound anywhere near as good. So let's get into how to use it and set it up and all that good stuff. One thing I want to add really fast is Waves has a free plugin called the Wave Studio Rack, which will allow you to use this on OBS or Streamlabs, which is amazing. So you can do this on your live streams or just video recordings like I'm doing now on OBS Studio. If you would like to pick up the Content Creators Package Toolkit, or even if you just want some of these, you can buy each one individually. I'll put a link in the video's description to the Waves website. If you buy something off that link, I will get a small commission. And you Thanks, can actually guys. dial all these settings in and in a couple of seconds once you get the hang of it. This is super easy to use, but let's go over it. I'm going to show you exactly how to set up each one of these plugins. So the first thing this comes with is the NS1 noise reduction software. The second thing is the Greg Wells voice centric, which is basically a compressor equalizer. I think I hear some saturation and a few other things going on when you use this. And then we have a really awesome limiter. This is a very cool, very unique limiter. I've never seen anything quite like it before, but it's got settings for YouTube, settings for Spotify, just to make sure your, your music or your voice or whatever it is, is at the right volume for whatever app you're uploading to, which is amazing. And then finally, we have the playlist writer. This is designed for having like three or four people talking at the same time and it's supposed to level out everybody's voices so it'll try and keep all three or four people on your podcast around the same volume right now i'm going to reset all these settings so the volume is going to get quieter it's like none of these are even on so we're going to start from scratch and set all this up the first thing I'm going to show you guys how to adjust is the NS1 background noise remover. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this little knob and we're going to do a test recording and we're just going to turn this up as we talk. And as it gets higher and higher, eventually it's going to get to a point where you start hearing your voice kind of sound like it's cutting in and out, in and out. And at that point, you're going to want to find that spot and then bring the dial down just a little bit, right? So let's just put this down around number 20. And you'll notice when I stop talking, this little bar right here where my mouse is, it drops down to about minus 42. That means when I stop talking, it's reducing all background sounds by about 42 decibels and cutting out all the background sounds when I stop talking. So this is really just to get rid of that fan noise, that air conditioner and stuff when you stop talking. So it's great for cutting out some extra noise. You don't want to crank that up any higher than it needs to be. So get it up to where it starts working well. And I also noticed it's removing my breath, which is really cool. So it's not picking up the breathing sounds on the microphone. That is really beneficial because a lot of people absolutely hate to hear those breathing sounds. Now that we have the NS1 noise reducer set up, we're going to move over to the voice centric plugin. And this is basically a compressor. I think I hear some EQ and maybe some saturation being added. So the first thing you're going to see a delay, a doubler and a reverb. Turn these three things off. All right. Click the little green thing. You don't want the delay. You don't want the thing. You don't want any of those to be lit up because they will, they're not what you want for a spoken word vocal. So turn those three things off. Now, all we have to do is grab this one knob and we're going to turn this up and it's going to start compressing, EQing our voice, adding some like tube sounding saturation. And we're just going to crank this up until we see right here where it says GR gain reduction. We're going to crank that up till we see that bar starting to bounce around like it is right now. You don't want it to come way far down or you're going to overdo it. But right there is about the sweet spot, honestly. So we're going to go ahead and crank it up more just so you can hear what it does. But check, check, check. Let's go. Crank it up, baby. Crank it up. And, and if you go too far, it's going to start to sound unnatural, over compressed, oversaturated. Like right there probably doesn't sound good. I mean, you might like that sound. I mean, if it works for you, use it. But bottom line is I shoot for having that little bar just moving by a couple of notches. If I get really loud, 
that bar is gonna go way down because it's gonna squish those louder parts down and make them quieter. So the cool thing about this is it makes your voice sound really good and it's like an automatic volume control and gives your listeners a much better experience. That way it's not constantly louder, quieter, louder, quieter. Your listeners will really appreciate that. So that was really it. I mean, you just adjust the one knob and you're good to go. So now we're gonna check out the WLM Plus with the peak limiter. What's really cool about this, if you click this drop down menu, if you wanna if you wanna set your video up for YouTube, you just click the YouTube thing and it's giving you the proper settings for YouTube. And then what you do at this point, all you gotta do is come up here and adjust this little dial right here, the gain dial. And you're gonna watch this little bar right here where the limiter is. You see my mouse moving around right there? You're gonna move that up until you start to uh, hit that, hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, we're gonna try and move the bar up a little bit more. And now you're gonna see down on the bottom, you're gonna see that little thing here Every once in a while when I talk, you're gonna see that, which means it's hitting the limiter and it's squishing it down so it doesn't get too loud. So that's exactly what you wanna see is that bar just barely moving every once in a while during your normal talking voice. Now we're all set up. So we got our NS1 blocking out the background when we stop talking. We got the voice centric doing the compression, the EQ, the saturation, and then we got our limiter. I mean, that's, Easy peasy, so simple to set this thing up. Now, if you wanna adjust this manually, you can come down here. So we're target 14 LUFs. YouTube wants your video to be at 14 LUFs. That's kind of like the standard these days. So you can click this with your mouse and move your mouse up and down, and this will change the amount of LUF. So you can see that number going up and down, but for YouTube or whatever, you wanna be at 14, right? If you wanna change the limiter, minus one is normally where you wanna be on the limiter. So normally you wanna be on minus one or minus two for the limiter and you can adjust that. Then there's all these other settings on here which really you don't need to mess with. But bottom line is whatever you're trying to get the video for, whether it's Netflix or Disney or YouTube or Spotify, your best bet is just to come down here, click that setting, and then adjust this little gain bar up until you start seeing that gain reduction kick in and you're pretty much done. I mean, it, it's such an easy thing to set up. I mean, slide the bar up, slide the dial up, choose the YouTube setting and then adjust the gain. That's it. Very, very easy easy and simple and it makes your voice sound really good. So finally we have the playlist writer. Now this is for, let's just say you've got three people on a podcast and they're all talking and let's just pretend you've got music playing. The music's setting around 30 decibels, right? Let's just say your music's playing at 30 decibels. The first thing you're going to do is bring this down to just above 30 decibels. That way it probably won't grab the music and turn it up, but it will turn up the voices that are over 30 decibels. So if there's three people talking, bottom line is this is just going to try to make all the voices at an even volume. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab the, I'm going to set this to minus 14 loves. For voice, I'm going to set this to fast. And then you got the tonal character. So what this will try and do is make an equalizer to make everybody's voice sound the same. Like if somebody's got a really high pitched voice or somebody's EQ is really deep, this will somehow try to decide how it wants to EQ everybody's voice so they all sound similar on the EQ. Let's turn this on and try this out. So right now I'm speaking. Now, if I move the microphone a little further away, if this is working, my voice should not change volume. So let's move it a little further away. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Now, if I bring it a little closer, what's going on, what's going on? As you can see that little, you can see this little thing moving here as it's turning me up and down. So it does appear to be working. So if this works out properly, my voice will always stay at the same volume, no matter how I'm talking. So I'm actually gonna play this back and listen to it and see if it worked. All right, so basically if the voice is too much quieter or too much louder, this thing struggles to get it. But if the voices are very similar, it will keep them more at the same level. Personally, this isn't a part of the plugin package that I'm gonna use myself, but some people might find this to be very handy. For me, I'm just talking into a microphone. I'm just one guy, so I don't actually need this. I wouldn't use this part of it myself, but I think a lot of podcasters that have several guests might really find that handy. I mean, that's really about all there is to it. It's super easy, super simple to use. You could probably throw a DS on there. If you're one of those people who has those really harsh, shrill S sounds when you talk, when you say things like silly cell seashells, if that S sound sounds really harsh, if it's going to hurt your ears or be fatiguing, fatiguing, you might want to get yourself a nice ds -er. So if you were to get this content creator's uh, pack, a good ds -er and a good EQ, 
that would be kind of cool. Let's go ahead and try this out with the deesser. We've grabbed the Wave Sibilance deesser plugin, and this should really suppress the S sound. So anytime I say an S, like Celly Cell Seashells, it's not going to remove the S sounds, but it should take away the harshness. It should kind of suppress those S's and make so they don't sound as harsh or as shrill, so they're less fatiguing on your listener's ears. So you might also want to grab something like the Sibilance. A good deesser is something everybody should have anyways. And it would be nice to have an EQ, but we're not going to get into an EQ today. This plugin doesn't really need it. I mean, it does a pretty good job of EQing it, but if you're really, really picky and you really want to dial it in, you might want to add a nice equalizer. Once I have everything dialed in and set up the way I want it, this is the way it's going to sound. I think it overall sounds excellent. So the content creator package plus a de -esser, that's all you need. You're going to have a really great sound to your mic. Your voice is going to sound amazing. Your listeners are going to like it. It's a very easy way to get great sounding audio from your mic. All right. So there we have it. That's how you set it up. It's really easy. It's really nice. It works great. I like it a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and don't forget to drop down the video's description. Check out those links. There's also an Amazon affiliate link and the Waves affiliate link. So if you want to go to Amazon and get yourself a new microphone, a new camera, new this, new that, check that stuff out, and we will catch you next time. Lightning out. See ya.